Hi everyone, so lately we had patch 1.3.2 bringing us Uber Unique crafting. So you might have seen this, I covered this. You can now salvage Uber Uniques 5 to 1 and craft whichever one you want. And on top of this, you can also expect more Uber Unique drops outside of the Duel Encounter or basically any Uber Unique drops at all because previously they basically didn't exist. So that obviously begs the question, how much did they raise the drop rates of Uber Unix? And well, the patch has been out for a few days. There's obviously not really much conclusive data or anything. But just while playing the game and streaming, I did have a quite surprising number of people coming to my chat and tell me that either they had found one or someone in their clan had found one or their friends or something like that. So it seems like they are actually dropping compared to before where I only heard about you know, someone in my larger community uh, finding an Uber Unique like a single time, literally. So that happened a single time in like eight months. But uh, well, since the patch, there are Uber Unique drops. And obviously, I want to know how much. So it turns out we do have a data mine for that. So here on uh, Lofre GitHub, uh, this basically compares the previous patch to the um, current one. And there's quite some interesting stuff in there. There's also some stuff about Gauntlet, by the way. I'm going to go in that in a second. But um, here we see the drop weights of uh, unique items. So previously, Uber Uniques had a drop weight of 1. Now, what you need to know about drop weights is that basically an item drop, uh, and, and then you have you know several uniques that have each of their weight. And the higher the number, the more likely it is to roll that number, basically. It just you know has like a pool of weights, and then it rolls. Uh, which item will will be the one that actually appears in the end. So one was obviously really, really low. And uh, now they have 1350. It seems to be the same for all of the Uber Enix. So the chances to get one were multiplied by 1350, basically. So obviously, this is also why people start finding them now. Because previously, well, if there were like, let's say, 100 or so dropping worldwide, in the season, which is probably a bit optimistic. Well, now it's going to be like, you know, a hundred thousand or something like that. So there will actually be quite a bunch of people that actually find one. However, keep in mind, you can only find them outside of the real if you fight at least level 85 monsters. So I think that restriction has not been lifted. Now, drop weight 1350, what does it actually mean? So I made a little calculation here. So I took the drop weight of all of the unique items. This is just an example I did on the Rogue, but it's basically plus minus the same on all of the classes. So um, when, when we go on the list here, um, this is just like the list I took basically from Max Roll, where we have this article by Echo Hack, and uh, we have all of the uniques listed out. So I took the generic uniques, and then I took the rogue uniques, but you see that the, the list of uniques is roughly comparable between the classes anyway. So the numbers will plus minus be the same. But uh, each of those items has either a low, a medium, a high, or a minuscule drop rate. And those numbers correspond to 200,000, 400,000, 600,000, and 800,000, respectively. So this is the drop weights that you're going to see here. So again, normal uniques are obviously much more likely to drop. And well, this is the numbers that we have from the data mine from you know somewhere else. So this is basically the pool of items and the, the pool of weights that you can have. So if you have the generic uniques, they have a combined drop weight of 5 million. Then the rogue uniques, they have a combined drop rate of 7.2 million. And if you combine those two, you have 12.2 million total drop weight. So this means basically an item drops and then you have, you know, like, you know, 200 out of uh, 200,000 out of 12.2 million. Basically, there would be like X amount of chance that, you know, this corresponds to. You can actually like assign a chance to every single one of these items. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is exactly how the unique system works, so this has actually not really been fully determined yet. Uh, I do know that this uh, unique system does not work like the old, like typical ARPG systems, because it would mean that, for example, every time that a rogue finds a unique sword, it would automatically roll into a Doombringer, because that's the only sword that is unique on a rogue, for example. So that obviously is not happening. So usually what happens in ARPGs is that an item drops and then it rolls the rarity, starting from the top rarity, basically being unique, and then it would, you know, 
try to roll into unique and if that fails then it will try to roll a legendary and if that fails it will try to roll a rare item and that fails then it becomes a magic and so on so this is the typical ARBG loot system you know going back to d2 d3 poe like basically most of this stuff works like that but i think this is not how it works in diablo 4 and instead there seems to be just some chance to roll a unique in the first place and then the second roll determines which unique it is, because else it would be raining uber uniques no matter what, basically, at least some of them on certain classes. So this means that I think that whenever there's like, you know, this X amount of chance of rolling a unique, you have like this chance to find uh, any certain one of them. And of course, now if you include the uber uniques in the calculation, we have to drop weights down here. So I just put them here. This is all of the uber uniques, and then, you know, a rogue cannot find Avarion or the grandfather so the combined pool of uber enix is 6750 compared to this 12.2 million here from all of the normal unix and the rogue enix combined and well if you do that then it comes out to be mm. something like 0.055 percent chance or roughly one in 2000 so this is currently my estimate here of what you can expect playing the game and finding unix fighting le le monster levels above 85, which, well, I guess is probably also where, in general, most of the uniques are found anyway, as you go to higher tiers and you progress for the end game. So, yeah, 1 in 2,000. That seems to be roughly the number, if my assumptions are correct about how the loot system works. Now, we could do the same calculation for the other classes. As I mentioned, you know, the, every class has, like, slight differences here, but it's going to be plus minus the same. So, you know, it might be a 0 0.06 for some and 0 0.05 flat for some others or so. But it's going to remain roughly at that 1 in 2,000 or so number to find an Uber unique. Which, to be honest, I think is actually a relatively good number. So, um, you can still target farm Durial. But I kind of like that, you know, it's not too common and... Even myself, I might not even get one in a season. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have not even found a thousand uniques or so outside of those mega farming durials, basically. Um, you know, like normal unique drops outside of uh, boss drops, basically. And, well, it kind of gives you this excitement that every time you find a helm or so, there might be a chance to get one. And it's still, you know, something achievable i guess at least you know as i mentioned i hear from people they do find them i hear from their friends they find them now while i kind of like that there is a chance to actually randomly find uber uniques now one two thousand i guess is like realistic enough for people to you know eventually find one you know maybe not every season but you know sometimes in a season you get lucky so that's kind of cool i still really dislike the durial grind now i was doing this the second season in a row well it is kind of disheartening basically doing that again and you know even with this uber unique crafting you can get unlucky it can be a huge grind and it's just kind of like it's not even the problem that is a huge grind it's more like it's a boring grind so i really hope that um even in the short term hopefully we get some improvements there and you know make it more exciting get other bosses get other sources of uber drops but this is what we got for now and there's also one last point for this video that's why i talked about it at the start is the gauntlet stuff and also like some other things here. So there is um, this here. Apparently uh, there is, is going to be some rewards for the gauntlet. So it's just a little sneak peek, I guess. But it says that there's, for example, a collection of valuable equipments as reward for reaching worthy rank in the ladder. Uh, I'm not sure which rank is worthy now. It might be like one of the highest ranks. No idea. But um, also there is an extra reward for the first 20 places in the trial leaderboards. That uh, sounds to be like a mount trophy or something like that. Conqueror's Crest. So that is probably something that we might get previewed very soon. In fact, Blizzard has announced there is a uh, campfire coming. So I expect that will be... Uh, we're probably going to get the date like sometime next week, they said. And then I guess the following week, like from 25th to 1st of March, is probably going to be the campfire at some point. So I imagine they're going to preview this stuff here and more for the Gauntlet patch and you know probably bringing back some of the Vampiric powers from last season and um, whatever balance updates they're going to make. So there's probably going to be a lot of stuff in there. So for me personally, I'm mostly looking forward to Last Epoch right now. But of course, you know, if it comes like a week past Last Epoch launch or so, at some point, um, that would probably be ideal. So that um, yeah, I'm going to be there covering the news and of course jumping into the Gauntlet at some point as well. So just wanted to get this out here for now. Um, 
This is just the information that I gathered. I think this is correct, but I can't confirm it. So I'm, if anyone has uh, more clear info about how the unique system works, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, this is just what I tried to figure out here. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.